Well, a breaking news right now, and as you've uh, just been hearing, the actor turned political activist Lawrence Fox has been arrested on suspicion of conspiring to commit criminal damage to ULES cameras. Lawrence Fox, the leader of the Reclaim Party, said in a social media video shared earlier today that his home was being searched by police officers. Indeed, you can see a big search behind him while he's speaking. We'll talk about that in just one moment. So good afternoon to you. I'm Julia Hartley Brewer. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online, and on your smart speaker. Thank you for joining me. Lots coming up over the next hour. We'll be getting the latest on the Lawrence Fox arrest. It comes as GB News have confirmed in the last few minutes that they were ending their employment relationship with the presenter. I think that means they sacked him. And of course, we'll have all the highlights from Rishi Sunak's conference speech earlier this afternoon, including his crackdown on smoking. Particularly uh, talking about that, because we talked so much about HS2, it was long trails. Uh, his proposals for a staggered smoking ban, starting with the country's 14-year-olds, who of course wouldn't be allowed to smoke right now anyway. I want to know, is that a good idea or an example of the overbearing nanny state? Do get in touch. Give me a call on 0344 499 1000. You can text me on 87 and treble two, or you can tweet me on X at Talk TV. Well, before we go to our guests that talk about uh, Rishi Sunak's speech live from us in Manchester, writer and commentator Candice Holdsworth is still with me here in the studio. Um, and let's just go through the, what's been announced. Yeah. Lawrence Fox uh, went online today with a video talking uh, from his own home, surrounded by police officers uh, going through his home. I'm sure we can play some of that clip while we're talking for those watching uh, rather than listening. Um, he's now been arrested on suspicion of conspiring to commit criminal damage to you les cameras um now we we know that he has been very open about his ob, uh, you know his objections to you les system being expanded he has even posted some tweets talking about people you know cheering people on who are damaging the cameras what, bearing in mind he has been on, arrested what do you make of this because a lot of people are going to say this is going to be rather heavy-handed by the police for a man. They, lots of people have tried to censor over recent uh, years. Yes, look, you can be against you, Les, and I think, you know, some journalists may privately support what the Blade Runners do, but you cannot publicly advocate for that. You just can't. No one can do that. I don't know exactly why they've gone after him. I mean, yes, he has made public statements, but was there actually conspiracy to damage a you, Les, camera? I don't know. Clearly, GB News are going to sever the connection now because yes. they can't um, have someone... And this follows, of course, the Ava Santinia Evans, uh, the, the conversation with Dan Wooten that he had. I think, I think certainly he had told me that he was expecting oh, yes. uh, that he, he was going to lose his, his role there. Um, he is a controversial figure. It's been controversial. I don't understand why, uh, since that appearance on Question Time all those years ago, when he basically was saying this wasn't a racist country. Uh, the Prime Minister has just said it. Kimmy Badenoch said it uh, a couple of days ago. Um, that's OK for them to do it, but not for him to do it on Question Time. He lost all his work as an actor no. for quite some time um, and, and you know, was thrown out of the so-called polite society. He's made a new career for himself yeah. in the political world as a media commentator, very outspoken sometimes, some would say, a little bit too outspoken, sort of shaking things up. Some would say he's gone a bit too far. Um, but on this issue, the reality is he may well have a lot of people backing him. Yes. If, the, if, these char if any charges are brought. I think so. I think that's where, what he'll carve out now, his niche. And he can do that. He can yeah. do that in his own personal capacity and take the positions he does. Many people do support him. But in terms of being a national broadcaster, I don't think that's the place to do that or okay. to argue for the things that he's arguing for now, at least.